Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I wanted to discuss this painting, which is, I believe it's an 18 by 24, maybe a 16 by 20. I'm going to say 16 by 20 just because of the size of my hand over the canvas. Now, it just looks like I'm randomly dumping paint on here, which I am, <laughs> but I do have a method to my madness. And I wanted to try this method because I noticed that when I do those balloon rolls, the less paint on the canvas actually seems to work better. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try just literally layering some paints um, this way. So I used deco art paints. This is a very uh, inexpensive way to do a painting. It didn't use very much paint. Um, the deco art I used was the, the copper, metallic copper, that comes in a jar. And I used the chocolate espresso brown which is a metallic paint that comes in the little squeeze bottle. Of course, I have my DecoArt Satin Enamel White, and you can see it in there starting to make some of that beautiful cloud, cloudy effect that Melly D has discovered and shared with all of us, and we have to be so thankful for. And so then I just started layering the paints um, this way and I just wanted to give it some depth. So I brought the black in. Now it may not look like I am thinking about composition, but pretty much every single time I do any painting, I'm thinking about composition. It's on the forefront of my mind. It is, extremely important to our eyes to see things that bring our eye in a circle and this is called the Fibonacci uh, spiral and the Fibonacci spiral if you haven't um, done any research about it it will change your artwork do it um, basically it's the repeating pattern that is found in nature and it's extremely pleasing to our eyes and one of the things about the Fibonacci spiral is it's often um, the beauty of thirds so I often divide my canvas up with my eye into thirds and a third will be white space a third will be dark space and a third will be color or I'll divide it up into thirds um, in terms of patterns. And on this one, you can see that dark patch, the dark chocolate brown patch over there, that's going to be my dark space. So I'm just drizzling really light, thin lines of that deco art copper over the top. And and I'm just tilting the canvas to kind of bring those paints together because you don't want them to look necessarily like they were just drizzled on, drizzled on <laughs> like a dessert syrup or something. <laughs> so just giving a little tilt helps combine those paints together. And then I'm going to do my famous balloon rolls and these are always in my videos just so you know they're sped up greatly so and I always have to wipe the balloon off in between so they do take a lot of time they're very time consuming so if you can imagine this is sped up four times but one of the reasons why I take my time is because I noticed that the faster you do them, um, 
the more the paints combine together. And I'm trying to get some separate colors going on. So that's one thing. Um, the other thing is, is it, it helps me direct, I don't know how to describe it. I guess it just, it, it helps me have more control over the shape of the outcome. Um, if I go really slow because the paint that's dripping off the end of the balloon I can actually kind of direct into that beautiful cornucopia shape that you see up there so that's one of the reasons why I do it and then like for that last one I just lost too much of the black when I rolled the balloon so I'll add it back in and I'll go back over there and do another roll. That's the cool part about these rolls is they do help, they pick up paint off of your canvas. Um, so you can keep adding, to a point, you can keep adding certain colors that you want to highlight again. I say to a point because then they do get kind of muddy after a while, so. This was a really fun painting and I love the end result. I think this painting would look amazing in a frame. And I've also considered finishing it with resin with um, some shimmering gold and copper um, mica powder. Cause I think that would be really, really pretty. I want to take a second and say thank you so much for all your support and watching Heather made her art. I deeply appreciate it. I can't tell you how many times your comments have brightened my day. And I truly and deeply appreciate um, your support for my channel. So thank you so much for those of you ha who have been a patron to Heather Mater Arts and if you would like to become a patron please support my channel there is a link in my description box and I always appreciate any type of donation so it keeps my channel going yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> I don't have much else to say about this painting except for um it dried really pretty, almost exactly the same um, as it was wet, so. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. It's always great if you can share my channel with your friends or people that would enjoy this kind of thing. I would love to be able to share my, my art with more people. And as always, I can't wait to make more art videos for you.